the whole cybersecurity aspect today, most organizations are extremely aware of how big this really is to the industry and what kind of threat it's causing. And so cybersecurity threats are all over. And so when you start to look at it, whether it's cybersecurity or HIPAA breaches, one in three Americans today are, have been impacted by a cybersecurity breach or even a HIPAA breach with all their, some of their records being compromised. You start to look at the numbers, you know, of what's occurred over the past, say, even three years. In 2014, there was 12.7 million records compromised. 2015 was an anomaly. It was 111 million records were compromised. And then in 2016, there were 16.5 million records compromised. What does that mean? Well, in 2015, what happened is there were some major health plans that had very significant breaches that occurred. You add all this up and people are being impacted and are continuing to be impacted as far as all of their health records. What are the main causes of some of these? Well, one is authorized, unauthorized access to information and the other is hacking and IT incidents that are occurring in the industry. In 2016, start, let's look at the kind of the cyber security side of this. Cyber attacks totaled about 63% of what was happening in the industry, which was about 93 different major attacks. So these, you compare, compare cyber attacks to that of HIPAA, and HIPAA attacks have gone up about 300% over the past three years. In 2016 as well, there were a couple of major trends that were identified. The first was the, the, the fact that medical devices were being hacked. And there's uh, really two different ways in which they were being hacked. Medjack, Medjack 2. And then the other aspect of the major trend that was occurring was ransomware attacks. Add to that the, what's called the Internet of Things and connectivity of whether or not it's TVs, cars, smartphones, various devices within your, within your home to manage your homes, manage even businesses. The point is, Internet of Things is causing another major opportunity for breaches and attacks. Also look at health information exchanges, accountable care organizations, population health. All the big data items that are occurring in the industry are causing major opportunities for this hacking to take place. Also look at it from the standpoint of what's the cost of your record in the industry. So a your credit card, your credit card if you're hacked is worth about a dollar on the black market. If your electronic health record is hacked, you could be looking at over $500 for that on the black market. And why? Because it's the opportunity for fraud. Hackers look at the opportunity and before any organization can identify whether or not fraud has actually happened, millions of dollars in any one of these records can have been, could have been used. So then you look at, okay, what, are the, what does this cost the industry? Well, it's costing the industry on an average of about $6 billion a year plus and growing. Each cyber attack is about $4 million to actually mitigate, and that's very significant dollars overall. You start to put this in perspective, what does it cost per patient record? So for a breach that were to occur, including the post-breach events that an organization needs to go th is going through as far as reduced revenue, um, credibility, impact, it's about $200 per patient record versus $8 per patient record to mitigate the risk of a breach, an incident, or a cyber attack. So the economics are pretty compelling for organizations to be spending the money to put into the prevention, the readiness, and really the vulnerability assessments that organizations need to do. So the bottom line really for organizations is that they need to look at partners that are going to help, like ENAC, to really assist them in their readiness, the risk mitigation strategy, what they're doing in relation to being 
as proactive as they possibly can so that it's not if an organization is going to be attacked, it's when they're going to be attacked. And when they're going to be attacked, how quickly can they respond and how quickly can they remediate and mitigate the impact to that organization to reduce their overall cost, credibility, and loss of business. So ENAC becomes really one of your significant partners as you build that risk mitigation strategy for your organizations.